What is going on with this Russell Wilson story that continues to have new twists and turns by the minute? Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here with you all, recapping what's been a very evolving and changing story. So, in case you missed it, yesterday's video was primarily about Tom Pelissero and Mike Garofolo going on NFL Insiders, their little show, and Pelissero, halfway through the video, kind of just dropping a huge bomb saying, by the way, I don't know if you guys have heard, Russ is losing some members of the locker room, not Nathaniel Hackett. They're getting fed up with Russ's social media antics amid all the losing. Now, of course, Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett responded to that. But let's go back in time a little bit to what Pel Pelissero said initially on The Insider, saying, one of the things I have consistently heard about is Nathaniel Hackett for everything that's gone wrong and what people are saying about his job right now. He has not lost that locker room. Russ has lost some people around that team. He has lost some people in the locker room. Now, Hackett went on, you know, for his press conference on Wednesday and said that is all gossip. And as a head coach, that's what you have to say. What do you expect Hackett to say? Whether it's true or not, he's not going to go up in front of the media and say, you know, I'm really glad you guys brought this up. Everyone hates Three's guts in that locker room. No, and that's not the case either. And I, and I don't believe that is the case. I don't think the whole locker room has turned on Russell Wilson. Maybe some people are a bit peeved by, hey, here's the guy who's making $57 million. He's showing up to training camp in his own Broncos throwback jersey. He's posting slow-mo videos of him walking into the locker room for a team that's 3-7 and seven at the time. That might rub some people the wrong way. Now, I want to fully expand on what Hackett said in terms of calling it gossip. I heard that a little bit. To me, it's all gossip. We have a fantastic locker room. When you look at a guy like Russ, he's unbelievable. He works. I've never seen somebody work that hard, and he's never seen so and never seen somebody try to embrace a team he, like he has while he's here. So this is pretty on par for Russell Wilson. All right, I'm pretty critical of the guy. He can be a bit of a cheese ball. I've said that before, but make no mistake, his work ethic is, I mean undeniable right no one stacks up to it he's not just doing high knees on a plane maybe to get some attention but because he really is doing everything he can to get his body and I talked before on the show we did an episode I don't know three weeks ago about maybe shutting down Russell Wilson because the injuries they're very real right he got a shoulder injection he's got a partially torn or maybe even completely torn lat partially torn hamstring potentially too he's playing through a lot of stuff so Russell Wilson's toughness and his dedication to go out there and play when a lot of guys would look at it and go, I'm having an awful year. I'm injured. Maybe we should just stop the bleeding now and shut me down so things don't get worse. Give a lot of credit to Russell Wilson. Despite that option, he's not taking it. He is playing through the injuries, which easily could be a fail safe of, Put me on IR. I've got the least amount of touchdowns for any quarterback that has played 10 games this season. No, Russell Wilson is playing through the injuries. Even though it's not benefiting him at all, he's doing it for the team. Now, Russ, of course, spoke to the media as well. Here's what he said about this. No, first of all, everybody wants to win. We all want to win. Nobody wants to win more than me in this team. And that's what we, and that's what we want to be able to do. I think also I have a great relationship in that locker room. Whoever is trying to tear it down, you can't. I think the best thing about it is that it's been that it's been an amazing journey coming here, moving here, and being here. Tom Pelissero, you're up, mister, because you know who Russell's talking about when he says who's trying to tear it down? It's you. It's Tom Pelissero going on NFL Insiders like we quoted at the start of the show saying Russ is losing some people in the locker room. Now, Pelissero responded to, I shouldn't say responded, walked back, I should say, some of the comments he made. And we'll look at that in more depth in just a moment. But be honest for me for a moment. Just a quick sidebar here. Do you think Russ is losing people in the locker room? I know Russ is not. I know Russ is saying he's not. And I know Hackett is saying that's not the case. But also, if that were the case, there was no way they would come out and say anything that would be a shred of truth to that. So just be the judge yourself for a moment. Let me know. Do you think Russ is losing people in this Broncos locker room? Okay, here's what I'm talking about, though. 
Andrew Mason tweeting out at Tom Pelissero, I wanted to start off this show by addressing something that Mike Garofolo and I discussed yesterday that took on a bit of a life of its own overnight. Um, you think? I mean, Pelissero, you said, yeah, the starting quarterback, people are losing him in the locker room. How did that story not blow up? I don't know why he didn't think that was going to be a pretty big story, which is our conversation that we had about the Broncos and Russell Wilson. So, Tom Pelissero put out a long response. I'm not going to show it all because I want to be a bit of a, you know, a bore if I read the long response he had, but I t- did take some snippets out. I invite you to go to Andrew Mason's Twitter or my Twitter, and you can read the whole thing for yourself there. But here are some snippets of his long response. I wanted to start the show by addressing something that Mike and I discussed yesterday that took on a bit of a life of its own overnight, which is our conversation that we had about the Broncos and Russell Wilson. Ultimately, I'm responsible, as we all are, for everything that we say on every platform. In this particular case, I wish that some of the other words that I had said on the subject would have gotten equal attention to things about Russell Wilson and the way that some players may feel about the situation right now. Pelissero went on to say, I also want to go back to the first thing that I said in that segment, which was, this is not all Russell Wilson's fault. He has been hurt throughout the course of the season. He has dealt with the latch strain. He has dealt with the partially torn hamstring, among other things. He's down five running backs. Three of his top four receivers, he didn't have his tight end, Greg Dulcich, for four games there. He's down three offensive tackles. Garrett Bowles is out for the season. Tom, this is weak sauce, dude. Like, all those points are very true, and the injuries are very real. But don't just forget that it wasn't, you you didn't go out there to talk about Russell Wilson playing bad. It was about Russell Wilson losing the locker room, right? Russell Wilson's persona, not maybe vibing with some of the guys when you're losing because Russell Wilson, like his personality in Seattle, I mean, go back to Seattle for a moment. He's drafted in day three of the draft or day two, round three, whatever. And he's not the big man on campus in Seattle. Marshawn Lynch, Sherman, Wagner, those are the big guys on campus when he starts there. Then he went to Super Bowl early in his career. And as that Legion of Boom was phased out, and Russell Wilson really takes over the entire franchise and becomes the face of the Seattle Seahawks. Well, for all the newcomers coming in, it's, hey, that's Russell Wilson. Maybe he's not, uh, maybe he's a bit quirky, but he just won a Super Bowl not long ago. What do we care? Well, now Russell Wilson's in Denver. He hasn't won a Super Bowl with the Broncos. It's a brand new locker room. Things aren't going to plan. And all of a sudden, these personality traits and his antics might not be sitting well with people after, you know, a 3-8 and start. So, Pelissero, I agree with your whole spiel about the injuries. And that is a factor, no doubt about it. Playing without some of your big receivers, no Judy, no Patrick all season. The offensive line's been beaten up. You've had a revolving door at running back. But the subject was not about excusing Russell Wilson's play because of injuries. It was all about him Losing the locker room, which Pelissero kind of dodged in his response to his own statement. I also have to dunk on myself for a moment. I wouldn't say a bad take, but the whole birthday saga thing where it went a full Bo Bo Callahan life of its own, it got overblown, partially because of me. I I got pretty fired up about it. I don't know about you guys. It's just whenever coaches or players say no one's more frustrated than I am, I do believe that to an extent, but it's also like, You've only been a Broncos, like, for Hackett fan, if you will, been part of the team for six, seven months now. Some of us have been here lifelong fans. So it's like, are you really as frustrated as we are? Because we've been following this team for our whole lives. You've just been with them for a couple months now. So I think as a fan, you can kind of get a little peeved by that. And then it's Russell Wilson throwing a birthday party, only half the team coming. Is that a really big deal? I probably got a little over, I don't know reaction-ish, if you will, last uh, video about that, but oh well, that's the YouTube life. All right, I appreciate all of you guys for clicking on to today's show. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. I'm going to sign off and see you guys later with more Broncos news and rumors.